Welcome to the seventh episode of the RP1 series. Last time we had just done an orbital return contract, and today I'm going to start off by pouring a bunch of points into our R&D and VAB. Here we are on the launch pad with our second orbital return mission. This is not going to be a biological sample, it's just going to be some avionics. Similarly, last time we have to fly this mission extremely efficiently. Second stage ignition. And everything looks good. Now I can spin up the final stage for spin stabilization and then launch it to reach orbit. It looks like we achieved orbit with a few hundred meters per second to spare, so I'm just gonna keep burning and burning until we get a final apogee of 2,196 kilometers. Now that the contract's complete, I'm just going to fire the retro rockets and then we'll begin re-entry. On re-entry, we lost one solar panel due to heating, but everything came out okay. Nice. Here we are on the VAB with the next generation launch vehicle called Alpha. It can deliver over a ton to low Earth orbit. So the first thing I'm going to do is buy the bottom stage engine, which is an LR87. And then we're going to buy the second stage engine, which is an LR91. And the top stage, the third stage, is just an AJ10 like we were using before. I can then tool the rocket and add it to the build list. Here's the first payload of this rocket. It's a satellite that will be put into a high eccentricity orbit to get science from high space. But I had some time before our R&D was completed, so I decided to launch another satellite using the tortoise. This satellite will be launched into a sun-synchronous orbit, meaning that we're launching slightly retrograde and nearly due north. I can spin up the final stage and then release it and then we're on our way to orbit. And we ended up achieving orbit with very slim margins. Our apoapsis is only 740 kilometers. So I'm going to release the payload and then I'm gonna wait for the contract to be completed. And after we got that cash, we are actually going to accept the three lunar contracts. With this frankly ludicrous amount of money, I'm going to upgrade R&D, and then I'm going to pour a bunch of points into our VAB and R&D. Here we are getting ready for the maiden flight of the Alpha launch vehicle. All right, I'm firing up that LR87 and then we're lifting off from the pad. As you can probably tell, this rocket is heavily based on the Titan missile, which used the same LR87 and the same LR91. and our final stage doesn't have to be spun up to reach orbit. And everything was going well. That is until. What the hell? Oh my God, no way, yeah, yeah. 
with such little thrust, my only way to reach orbit was to prematurely fire up the last stage, which was originally meant to raise our apoaps. This seemed to work quite well, and we were well on our way, and especially after reaching orbit, and everything was going well until, yet again, High Earth orbit starts at 35,000 kilometers, and we only reached an apoapse of 11,000. Meaning that we won't get any science from this mission, and it is a complete loss. So we're gonna try again. And one crew retirement later, the rocket was ready to launch. Here we are on the launch pad with the replacement for the last satellite. I've changed the final stage by adding SRBs so the arrow B only burns for its rated burn time. Second stage ignition. And we are on our way to orbit. Third stage ignition, and everything seems to be going well. And nine minutes and three seconds in the flight, we reach orbit, and I continue burning to raise our apoaps as high as possible before spinning up the final stage and releasing it. Here you can see I've added two SRBs. So the first one is burning, the second one is now burning, and then finally we'll light up the aero B for the final stage. The aero B will allow us to precisely cut off our engine when doing lunar missions so that we can actually engineer a flyby. Here I cut it off early to not raise our apoaps too far away from the Earth. And here you can see me cruising out beyond geostationary orbit and collecting lots of science. Using that science, I'm going to buy lunar range Kongs so we can communicate out to the moon. Unfortunately, I can't upgrade the tracking station until the lunar range communications have finished being researched. So in the meantime, I collected some more science from the satellite. Here it is. The mission to end all missions. Our first lunar probe. Here we are lifting off from the launch pad. Here we are at stage separation and second stage ignition. This stage did start spinning, but luckily the AJ-10 was able to use its gimbal to counteract it. We are reaching orbit. Unfortunately, this final stage started spinning and I had to use my epic gamer skills to point us prograde without using up all of the monoprop. I failed. With no monopropellant left, the only thing I could do was wait until I was pointed near prograde and then launch the final stage. Now in this critical moment, you might be wondering, how could I mess this up any further? Well that wasn't supposed to happen. The only thing I can do now is wait for this stage to burn out and then fire up the arrow B. The arrow B burned for quite a while and it actually pushed our apoaps up quite a ways, but not quite to the moon. But don't worry, because I have little SRBs on board meant to trim my orbit. Looks like those did a bit more than I thought they would, but luckily I have smaller ones pointed in the other direction. So I fired those, and that gave us a perfect trajectory. Nice. Here we are, time warping out to the moon. Everything's looking great. All right, here we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, no.
Well, it looks like this is gonna be as close as we're gonna get. Actually, I lied. A month later, I got a lunar encounter, but afterwards, my Apple apps is too high to transmit any science. I'm in R&D buying the comms tech level one, which will actually make the map view useful. All right, here we are for round two of the lunar impactor. Setting off from the launch pad, it's pretty much identical to the previous craft. Here we are in orbit, prepping to launch for the moon. We're spinning up the final stage and igniting the first SRB. And then I'm gonna ignite the second one. And then finally I'll light the arrow beam. We're pushing our apwaps out, out to the moon, and I'm gonna cut the engine as soon as I see it enter the moon's SOI. And cut. Hey, that looks pretty good. Here I am getting ready to fire my retro rockets to slow us down. Ooh, looks like it did a bit more than I thought, so I time warped, and then I fired prograde. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! 